I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for- OH MY GOD! Hey guys, it's Peach is saying welcome back to Doki Doki What the Fuck is Going On Club. And what what is going on, it's about right. Because I'm sure this game is not over. Because, I mean, look at this. Do you see this? What is this? <laughs> I'm gonna try and load the game. <laughs> Which one was it? Last one? Oh! Oh! Cactus Sayuri. Files missing or corrupt. Okay. Starting a new game. All right. It's just okay. Just dumping me right into it. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, the music. Do you hear the music? It was a bit distorted there. This is the the beginning. The girl. You don't know how her name is. Okay, this is creeping me out. Okay, before I continue, I want you to know that I. Did look uh, look at the uh, files that came up when you know the whole scene was the jury died. Uh, there was a couple files on that screen. I looked them up and I found some really interesting things, like um, some weird, creepy ass texts. And there's a folder with characters, character files, and Sayuri's character files missing. Uh, there's also some image called happy thoughts and when you open it is really creepy um, I'll show it to you on the screen so you can take a look um, I think it's really interesting that this game is playing with the game files I don't know still creeping me out let's keep going <laughs> um, all right oh okay oh god oh okay Oh, good. You cannot hear the music, because I turn it down. Whoops. Whoopsie doops. It's an ordinary school day like any other. Okay, hold on. Oh, weird. Okay, so I have to close the game, because Streamlabs OBS is not playing nicely with this game for some reason. Um, and then it said, don't forget to back up Monica's character file. I'm not gonna do that. What? Why would you tell me that? All right, hold on. I'm just gonna go do that real quick. <laughs> okay. Okay. The third one's a charm. <laughs> I cannot load any games. It disappears. So let's just let's just keep going. Did I mess up? It's an ordinary school day like any other. Okay, maybe not. Mornings are usually the worst. Being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school school alone. Well, I always tell myself if it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. But I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content, content with just getting on the average, getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them will probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Peach? Oh! Okay! What the fuck? I hate these types of things, okay? I hate it. I hate horror games. I hate jump scares. I hate it. It's garbage. <sighs> Alright. Monica. Oh my goodness. I didn't, totally didn't expect you to see it here. To see you here. I don't even know how to speak. It's been a while, right? N yeah, a couple weeks. I didn't want to see you again, to be honest. <laughs> we do know each other. Well, we really talk talked but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little. What do you come in here for anyway? I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction pipe paper here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? Haha, <laughs> about that. <laughs> I actually quit the debate club. 
Really, you quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stop, stand all the politics around the major clubs. Feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club do you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. Okay. A literature club. Literature. That sounds kind of dull. I'm gonna turn the music down. For me. Not for you. I really hate jump scares. <laughs> I don't know why I'm expecting one. Sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Mm, no one? <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, at all you know? Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the clubroom. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always sis insists that manga is literature, too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say she? Peach? By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? I mean, I guess so, but in that case... Is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but... If you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please? Well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse to someone like Monica? I mean... Sure, I guess I could check it out. Awesome. You're really sweet, Peach, you know that? It's, it's nothing, really. Shall we go, then? I'd look for the materials another time. You're more important. Okay. I'm terrified. And thus, thus today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. You lucky dog. I timidly followed Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for 30-year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I'm back, and I brought a guest with me. <gasps> oh god! Okay. I can't. I can't do this. <laughs> Oh god, I can't do this, I hate it. I hate job scoops, I really do. Please make it stop. I guess, seriously, you brought a boy. A way to kill the atmosphere. Don't make me eat Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Peach. All words escape, escape me in this situation. This is the type of... Ep this is the episode that I should maybe put on my webcam, but I, I really... I look like shit. So you guys are gonna have to imagine my faces. <laughs> Incredibly cute girls. So let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Anyway, this is Natsuki energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. It's nice to meet you. <sighs> Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet you, both of you. So I ran into Peach in a classroom and decided to come back to the club. What? Isn't that great? Wait, Monica? Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? <clears throat> I was going to, well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but it just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? What? No cupcakes this time? Why don't you come sit down, Peach? The girls have a few desks around front to form a table. Yuri walks to a corner of the room and opens a closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. I'm looking around, waiting for something to happen, like, really. <laughs> I'm still feeling awkward, I took a seat next to Monica. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sur sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in this club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. 
that it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. You know, if I just look at the text, so, like at the text bubble, and nowhere else, maybe I'll be fine, right? Because... <laughs> So it's uh, different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to find these two. Jewelry returns to the table carrying a tea set. She, car she carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? How do you heat the tea? Do you have a microwave or something? Don't let yourself get intimidated. Jury's just trying to impress you. That's not insulting. Jury looks away. I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Jury faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Peach, what kind of things do you like to read? Considering how little I've read the past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Manga is reading. What are you talking about? Well, that can change. What am I saying? <laughs> I spoke without thinking after seeing your sad smile. Anyway, what about you? Yuri. Sorry, I was looking at her eyes to look a little bit weird. <laughs> I'm paranoid. Uh, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a for foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on passionate Clearly passionate about her rating. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious that the way her lights light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerses me as immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? What? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. I just believe grass something I can relate to the minimal level. At this rate, you might as well be having a conversation with a rock. I think this is the same conversation I had at first. This is your personality. Is that so? Really, if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world. Um, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Yeah, Natsuki and I just see eye to eye. Hi, Max. What's up? Hi, kitty. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Why is that? Well, just... Natsuki's eyes dart over me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud and Give It Back. Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems? It well, sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. <laughs> it's to cover her eyes. You weren't like them. Not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing tells more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up for, to, your tre ugh, to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? Mm, mm, let's go home and write a poem. Okay. 
And then next time we meet, we'll share them with each other. That way everyone's even, okay? I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start funding activities for all of us to participate in together. I did decide to take on the responsibility of vi vice president after all. Oh, right, because before it was um, Sayuri. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, and now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Uh, they agree as well, Peach. Hold on, there's still one problem. What's that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Monica might have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at. I lose my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But... I'm sorry. <laughs> <sighs> the girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth, Peach. The thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four, and I've been really trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one more before the festival, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I will feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. And besides, the club itself, itself seems pretty relaxed. So if writing points is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls... Right, okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that? Yes. It could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. You scared the shit out of me when you popped in. So screw you. <laughs> I mean, if you really just left after all this, I would be super pissed. Peach, I'm so happy. We can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You were, you're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Monica. <laughs> I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks uh, over at me once more. Peter, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Yeah, I I'm gonna step back a little. Can I really impress the star class, Monica? The class star, Monica, with my mediocre writing skills. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. I can't wait. With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. All right, I'll just need to make the most of my, mi my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune with find me. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to read. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Okay. Mm. Oh, n no. I'm turning down the volume. Okay. I I'm just not going to, okay? Oh dear. Okay. Um, honestly, I don't care. <laughs> I just don't care. I just want to be over with this game. <laughs> Okay, hi, how's it going? Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Don't worry, this might be a little strange for me, but at least at least I keep my word. I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for- Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> I really just cannot keep playing this game. Oh my god, I can't. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> Thanks for keeping your promise, Peach. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. 
Something's out with the music too. It's like... It's a bit distorted. I... I <sighs> okay, it's just three more minutes and I'll, I'll leave it. <laughs> Making you dive first into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh my god! Okay, make it stop. <laughs> oh god. Okay, you already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But you don't take us seriously, so... Then you won't see the end of it. Okay. Why is she on top? Why? why I can't read, Monica. This is creeping me out. She, why is she so big? Oh my god. And the classroom is like tilted. Do you, do you see that? Uh, I'm sorry, Peach. I don't even know what they're saying anymore. Oh my god, I'm hating this so much. Uh, anyway, now you're in the club. Perhaps you may have interested in picking out a book to read. I can't say no either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now. So it only feels right for me to do something like that if you ask. Wait, I didn't mean it like that. If you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. It is tilting. Oh my god, it's moving. I can see it. It's tilting. It's very slowly tilting. I can see it through the tiles right here. Look at this. What the fuck? I want to try and be part of this club, so even if I don't read often, I'll be happy to pick up a book if you want me to. Are you sure? I just feel like, well, as vice president and all, that I should help you get started on something you might like. He reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. And I want you to feel out. So I pick it, picked up a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want it. It just keeps spinning. Like, it's getting worse. <laughs> How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked up a book she thinks I like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll read. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Okay. Oof. What? Holy... And it was like zooming in too. Oh my gosh. I expect Monica to kick off some schedule activities for the club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Your face is already buried buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more, but at the same time I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of the book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be in the first few pages. Okay. Crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She's sneaks in another- she's sneaking- ugh. I'm so nervous. And your or eyes beat uh, for a split second. But it on that only makes her hide her face in deeper in the book. Sorry, I was just spacing out. I muttered this, sensing her- I made her uncomfortable. It's fine. I was focused then, probably wouldn't have noticed. If I was focused then, I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so. That's the book yet that you gave me, right? Excuse me. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday. Ah, that's not what I meant. I mean. I just happened to buy two of them. I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decide to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's the story about anyway? Well, mm, 
Look at the cover. I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol in the front cover. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. <laughs> And the people trapped in there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. Oh, cool. But the facility gets even worse, and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and aff affixing them to... Oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. This is creeping me out. But anyway, I'm really into it. The book, I mean. Not the thing about the limbs. That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. Ah. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Peach? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. So, She's so shy, shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story as they can that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. What the fuck? Oh my god. What the fuck? I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again, I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well. I guess it's alright then, but I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and, and writing fill my thoughts, my whole body gets blah 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 blah. I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. Now please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. At least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. That's... well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started in reading it, right? Oh god! Okay. Yes. I mean, you don't have to, but... Why are you saying... <laughs> Let me just get the book. I quietly... I quickly retrieve the book that I had put into my bag. It's fine if it sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Oh god. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. This is something that I'm not very used to. That is reading company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. Um, I think I'm gonna leave it here. It's been 25 minutes. I'm really not doing well. I really don't like these things. I don't like it. I hate it. I hate it, thanks. So, I will see you all in the next video. <laughs>